بسم الله والحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على رسول الله السلام عليكم brothers and sisters this is brother Abdul Wahid from Fatih Institute with a special message Subhanallah the month of Ramadan has left us dear brothers and sisters the great month of Ramadan has ended and we are now in the blessed month of Shawwal the great month of Shawwal Subhanallah congratulations to those individuals who benefited from the previous month, the month of Ramadan. Congratulations to those who took it as an opportunity to better themselves and better their friends and better their families. Congratulations to those who took it as an opportunity to increase in worship and to increase in obeying Allah. May Allah Ta'ala accept your siyam, your fasting and your qiyam, your, your prayers. SubhanAllah. And thank you also from the bottom of our hearts at Fatih Institute for those of you who have liked our posts and shared them and to those who have donated. You have been an inspiration to us. You have motivated us. You have encouraged us to work harder, to improve ourselves, to better ourselves so that we may better the Muslim Ummah and that we may work harder. May Allah Ta'ala accept your deeds. SubhanAllah. So we are now in the day of Eid. And I remind you to visit your family, to visit your friends, to call them, keep in touch with them. SubhanAllah, it's a day of happiness. It is a day when we visit each other and we are kind to each other and kind to the children. It is a day when we remember those who have passed. It is a day when we go to the graves and visit them and make dua for them, for those who have been forgotten. SubhanAllah. And remember that yes, it is a day of happiness, but there are people in the Muslim Ummah worldwide who are not smiling who are not smiling subhanallah the pious people in the past after ramadan has finished had finished they would spend six months asking allah to accept their deeds six months asking allah they would make they would, they would be making dua to allah to accept their deeds to accept their deeds in the month of ramadan because of its high status and importance that it has and they would spend six months before Ramadan asking Allah Ta'ala to enable them to live until the blessed month of Ramadan. And I ask Allah Ta'ala to enable us to live until the, next, until the next month of Ramadan so that we may benefit inshallah Ta'ala in a hereafter, for our hereafter. And remember that Ramadan is a month of obedience. But also take into consideration that for the Muslim, his whole life is a time of obedience, is an opportunity for him to Obey Allah and to do good deeds, not only in the month of Ramadan. Use this month of Ramadan as a catalyst. Use it as a way to improve yourselves, to better yourselves, your prayers, your fasting, your hajj, inshallah ta'ala. Learn, learn the Islamic knowledge of the religion. Learn the obligatory knowledge of the religion. Use it, use the month of Ramadan as a motivation to better yourselves. I ask Allah ta'ala to forgive us of our shortcomings and to make us live until Ramadan. And I ask Allah Ta'ala to bless this day of Eid for our families and our friends and to bring us closer to one another, to bring us closer to our neighbors and to, to those who are close to us. And I ask Allah Ta'ala to make us among those who are sincere to Him and among those who are guided and guide others and among those who work to spread the call of Islam. I ask Allah Ta'ala to accept your deeds and I ask Allah Ta'ala humbly to make you among the pious people. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.